Hello, my name's Tom and I'm stood here in our wetland treatment system and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Weekly. So there's been loads of activity around the centre at the moment. We've got some growing black swan cygnets, some really cute chicks and some amazing young calves to show you today. So we've had some new arrivals with the cattle. We've had some new calves born this week and the reserve department, me, Jack and the volunteers have been chasing them around the reserve, trying to catch them up so we can put little tags in their ears. And those little rascals really are hard work to get hands on. So we have to put them in a specialised race where we can get nice and close and we can tag them in a nice safe environment. So we put the tags on the calves to identify them and that means in the coming weeks we can tick them off the list every day when we go out, make sure they're nice and healthy and in the best condition they can possibly be to help us manage our nature reserve here at Martin Mere. We were lucky enough yesterday to have BBC Northwest tonight come out and video our cattle and mess soon became stars of the show and really showed well how our cattle manage the wetlands and give them the perfect environment for all these breeding birds and the wintering wildfowl when they return in winter. So in habitat like this, with a lot of reed, sedges and some tall grass, we're lucky enough to find reed and sedge warbler on the reserve. And last week, Jack, our reserve warden, was lucky enough to find a sedge warbler nest with some very young sedge warbler chicks in. And since last week, we went out and checked them again, and by God, they have grown some. Parents have been out there feeding them as much as they can, going to the nest a couple of hundred times a day if they can, feeding them on insects that they find around this kind of habitat and trying to get them nice and plump. So in the next week or so, probably those birds will be fledging and they'll be in good condition to go out there themselves and start their own sedge warbler family. In our weird old wonderful exhibit, we've got some black swan cygnets and they're coming out of the cute and fluffy phase and starting to slowly turn into nice mature adults and the black colouring's really coming out well. So Martin May is well known for its range of waders from avocets to lapwings to the glossy ibis we had a couple of weeks ago. And this week we've had a green sandpiper using our wader marshes, feeding along the edges, easily seen from the rain's hide or swan link. The reason why we're getting green sandpiper this time of year is they've migrated up north further in the year to breed in Iceland, Sweden, and now the ones that have failed or have bred really easy, they're starting to make their way back to North Africa and start to migrate there for the winter time. So we're just getting them stopping off on, pa on passage, which is why wetlands are absolutely perfect, because they're bringing in all these migratory birds and they're a nice bed and breakfast for this green sandpiper during this migration. So this time of year, we've got the beautiful bee orchid, which is growing up close to our iconic Harrier hide. The bee orchid's an absolutely beautiful plant. It mimics a bee, so it tries to attract them to it. So the bee latches on and it pollinates the plant. And the Harry High is the perfect place to view our rebed, and it's fantastic to see all the different birds using the wetlands there. The weather for coming for the next week is going to be pretty much what it's like today. Slightly overcast, but nice and warm. Perfect conditions for plants to come out in full bloom, insects to emerge, especially dragonflies and damselflies from the water. And our post-breeding populations of lapwings and starlings are starting to build up. So we've got some fantastic things to see out on the reserve. If you enjoyed this episode of Wildlife Weekly, please share us with your friends and followers on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more information, please visit our website.